Today, you're going to learn a little bit more about what it's like to live in Bentonville, Arkansas. On today's list are my top five neighborhoods and why I like them, who the builders were, the average size of home and price point. My absolute favorite neighborhood is number four, and because it's my wife's house, her favorite neighborhood is number five. Of course, I like it. I like it on the list as well, but her favorite neighborhood is number five, so stick around and watch that one as well. Checking out Angel Falls. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods, guys, because right there as we're driving by is the neighborhood's own entrance to Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve. If you've watched some other videos, you've noticed I have spoken highly of Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve. This neighborhood has about a hundred homes in it by Homes of Distinction, Landmark, Roth, Cornerstone, Rocky Creek Construction, and ARC Construction. The schools that serve Angel Falls neighborhood are Thomas Jefferson Elementary, Artis and Middle School, Lincoln Junior High, and Bentonville High School. The average home in here in Angel Falls is a four bed, four bath, 3,400 square foot home on about a half an acre. In regards to turnover in this neighborhood, there's about five homes that sell in here every year. I would anticipate there's going to be a few more as the neighborhood starts to get a little bit older, people start moving. The price point in Angel Falls, as of late, is going to run you between 700,000 to around a million dollars for a home in Angel Falls. You can see six foot privacy fences, well-maintained yards again, like we've mentioned in other, other videos, is we've got Bermuda grass, so it's a little brown this time of year, but it's springtime in Northwest Arkansas and things are going to green up this neighborhood has its own pool, common area with a park, and I'm going to mention it again because you got to know this. If you're in Northwest Arkansas and Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve is one of your favorite places to go, this is a reason why this neighborhood is one of my absolute favorites. Again, is because it has its own access from the neighborhood to Kohler Mountain Bike Preserve. It's a really nice neighborhood. Next on our list is Lockmore Club Subdivision. And my friends, in the real estate world, why is this one on my top five list? Well, three reasons. Location, location, and location. As we're going along here, I do have to apologize to those who have watched my other Lockmore Club neighborhood video that uh, it was trash day, it was overcast, and it was kind of gross outside, so I apologize. The neighborhood features 211 homes in the original phase, and we'll also show you the new phase, which has around 100 homes. Currently, we're in the original phase. Now leaving phase one and entering phase two of Lockmore Club. This is the newer portion of Lockmore Club subdivision. The average home in Lockmore Club is a four bed, four bath, two or three car garage, and around 3,100 square feet. In the newer phase, they're a slightly larger home. Homes in phase two of Lockmore Club were all built by Buffington Homes. The price point of homes in the original phase as well as in the new phase are going to be in the 600,000 to 700,000 range. Notice sidewalks on either side of the street. All right, headed back into the original phase of Lockmore Club. The original phase was built by Riggins Construction, Crestmark, Citadel, Tall Oaks Construction, Payne Construction, to name a few. This neighborhood has done very well over the years. And in my opinion, because of its location, you're just off of the Razorback Greenway. tossed a ball out there for me to run over or an apple or something and I squished it. Of all the neighborhoods that we're looking at today, Lockmore Club has one of the largest neighborhood amenities with sand volleyball, tennis, pickleball, basketball, clubhouse, pavilion area, and swings and playground. If you look straight ahead, you can see the Bentonville Community Center 
there past the street extension. More on that in another video someday. Lockmore neighborhood does well year over year. So if you're looking for a home in Northwest Arkansas, out of all the five neighborhoods that we're showing today, this one's going to have the most turnover. What that means to you is you'll have the most likeliness of finding a home in this neighborhood than you will in any of the other four that we showed. About 15 to 18 homes get listed every year in Lockmore Club. And if schools are your thing, location to schools is phenomenal here at Lockmore Club with Willowbrook Elementary, Brightfield Middle, Fulbright Junior High, just less than a mile down the street. Lockmore Club is served by Bentonville High School. Next on our list is Stone Ridge Estates. Close to Bella Vista mountain bike trails, there are around 55 to 60 homes here in Stone Ridge Estates with only about five to six homes per year that sell in the neighborhood. So a smaller neighborhood, but still around that 10% turnover mark. There's still a few lots left in here to build on. The neighborhood does have its own playground and park area. Most of the lots in here are going to have a steep backyard, mature trees, and the homes were built by Say Construction, Spencer Homes, Sterling Homes, and Timberline Construction. This is one of my favorite neighborhoods because of the mature trees, because it's kind of tucked up and away from all the hustle and bustle of life with wintertime views of some of the valley behind. If you're familiar, you're a mountain biker, and one of the newer trails in the area, hand cut hollows up this way, kind of across the valley from Ford Springs Road. Stone Ridge Estates is served by Sugar Creek Elementary School, Ruth Baker Middle School, Washington Junior High, and Bentonville High School. Most of the homes in here are brick, with stone, or some type of hardy siding. The average size home here in Stone Ridge Estates is a four bed, four bath, 4,100 square foot home on over an acre. Now there's some lots in here that are a couple acres over an acre, tucked away, they're all custom homes. It's the reason why I love it, my friends. It's a gorgeous neighborhood, undulating topography. Homes in this neighborhood are running recently between the $700,000 range to over the million dollar mark, depending on the size of home, as well as the custom features the home might have. All right, friends, the moment you've all been waiting for, well, maybe partly anyway, we are now entering Oak Tree Subdivision in Centerton, Arkansas. This is absolutely not only my favorite neighborhood in Bentonville School District, but my personal favorite neighborhood in all of Northwest Arkansas. It is my absolute favorite. Why is it, Anthony? Well, the reason why, one of the benefits to this neighborhood is it's one of the only gated neighborhoods in the Bentonville Centerton area, and of course, it is a one way in, one way out, neighborhood amenities, sidewalks, and as someone who likes to run and go for on walks with, with the family, I absolutely love the sidewalks and that most of it is flat. Large lots, mature trees that line the edges and back of the neighborhood. And of course, on the inside of the neighborhood, you have some mature trees as well, but mostly on the outside. Still shows that it's a newer neighborhood. Here in the back is Oak Tree Estate, still part of the same neighborhood, just a little bit larger lots, higher end custom homes. The average size home is four beds, five baths, and around 4,100 square feet. As of the last 12 to 14 months from shooting this video, the average home is selling between $850,000 and a million dollars. Homes were built by Tall Oaks Construction, OAK Homes, JSN Properties, RSJ Quality Custom Design, Payne Construction, Lance Johnson Construction, Loretto Homes, Arden Squire, Homes of Distinction, HVM Construction, Cornerstone Construction, and Capstone Construction. 
to name the majority. The neighborhood features its own swimming pool and basketball court. The Bentonville schools that serve Oak Tree are Elm Tree Elementary, Artis Ann Middle School, Lincoln Junior High School, and Bentonville West High School. Green grass, you don't want to know why? Green grass is because it's not Bermuda. Oh, and then you get to the houses with Bermuda. Oak Tree has just shy of 200 homes. So if you're looking for a home in Oak Tree, keep on the lookout for about 15 to 18 homes per year. Get listed in the neighborhood. So have your eyes peeled, have them especially peeled because Anthony's got his eye on the neighborhood as well. <laughs> But this neighborhood is not my wife's favorite. Hers is coming up next. Last but certainly not least is my wife's favorite neighborhood in all of Northwest Arkansas is Versailles subdivision. In here, there's about 110 to 115 homes. Now you'll notice as we're driving around, the lots are between one and three acres for almost every lot that's in here mature trees, brick going all the way around or block on almost every single house. Unlike all the other neighborhoods that we have gone to today, this neighborhood does not have any neighborhood amenities like a park, pavilion, or neighborhood pool. Over one third of the homes in Versailles have their own pool in their backyard. The schools that serve Versailles are Elm Tree Elementary, Artis Ann Middle School, Lincoln Junior High, and Bentonville West High School. I have to give it to Jessica, it really is a pretty neighborhood. There's gorgeous homes, the location is hard to beat. The average home in Versailles is between 1 million and 1.2 million as of recent sales in the last 8 to 12 months. For the foreseeable future, I anticipate we are going to see home values continue to appreciate higher in this area, Bentonville and Centerton, higher than most other areas in Northwest Arkansas. The average home size in Versailles is a four bed, five bath, 4,500 square foot home. Most of the homes in here have three car garage, some of them have four, and I think I only, I've only seen one home maybe two that have only a two car garage. The builders who built these homes are Homes of Distinction, Riggins, Capstone, RB Homes, Celtic Construction, The Regency Group, JSN Properties, Calcon, and HVM. I think another reason why Jessica likes this neighborhood very much like why I like Oak Tree is because it's one way in and one way out. Beautiful blue sky day, grass is turning green, trees are starting to bud. Absolutely stunning. It's a gorgeous neighborhood. Of course, there are other neighborhoods in Northwest Arkansas and in Bentonville School District, but these were my top five. Now you know a little bit more about what life is like in Bentonville.